hello everyone uh, today we will discuss about a topic known as noise rating system basically this noise rating system is generally used to analyze the combined impact of different sound pressure level lasting for different time periods okay so basically a noise may consist of different types of sounds with different pressure levels operating for different time intervals okay you know this very uh, uh, basic thing uh, now the frequencies of these sounds may also vary the combined resultant noise will in fact be responsible for determining the human response and degree of annoyance caused by it okay and the combined impact of different sound pressure levels lasting for different time periods is therefore attempted to be worked out by, by using some statistical measures such as ln and l equivalent system so there are basically two types of system ln concept and l equivalent concept or ln system or l equivalent system by this two type of system you can analyze uh, noise generated from a source and you can directly uh, produce a statistical measure uh, by calculating different data and plotting a graph also using the time duration for which they are occurring to analyze the noise that's why we require this noise rating system okay so there are two types of system ln system and l equivalent system today we only discuss about the ln concept okay so first of all the ln concept what do you mean by ln concept the parameter ln is a statistical measure indicating how frequently a particular sound level is exceeded okay the value of ln will represent the sound pressure level that will exceed for n percent of the gauging time uh, basically ln means uh, so for example uh, noise is generated from a source or noise is generating from a source and you are calculating or measuring the noise uh, less for one hour okay and also you are calculating for each second so in one hour you will have 36 double zero that is 3600 seconds so if you calculate the sound pressure level for each and every second then you will have 3600 data of sound pressure levels okay now basically using this 3600 data that means say for example the maximum sound pressure level present in your noise is uh, 90 decibel and lower value is uh, 50 decibel so in between 50 and 90 including this 50 and 90 decibel each and every decibel value can occur more than one time okay you have 3600 number of data say for example for the first second uh, 60 decibel is occurring second uh, for the second second uh, 70 decibel occurring again for the third second 70 decibel occurring again for the fourth uh, second 90 decibel occurring so the noise the sound pressure levels of different sound present in your noise because noise is a complex tone so this complex tone will have different type of data more than two number of data so each and every data can occur single time or more than one time okay so basically say for example your noise is having a range between 50 to uh, 90 decibel so between 50 and 90 including this 50 and 90 each and every decibel value can occur more than one time by using this 3600 data so you can calculate uh, using some equation some values and then you can plot something to measure the ln value what do you mean by ln value the ln value will represent the sound pressure level that will exceed for n percent of the gauging time gauging time means the time duration for which you are measuring you say for example you are measuring the noise for one hour one hour is your gauging time now say someone asked you that uh, you are uh, measuring the noise so yeah, can you tell me what is the time duration uh, for which the sound pressure level present in the noise exceeds or uh, is having value greater than 70 decibel so basically from the 3600 number of data you have to first of all uh, notif uh, note that or you have to first of all indicate that what are the decibel values occurring in this one hour say for example above 70 including 70 71 to 70 to 90 decibel all the 21 data are occurring 
and each and every one occurring more than one number of time also uh, by this process you can calculate that uh, for how long duration the 70 decibel is occurring say for example for the third second 70 decibel was occurring and also for the 10th second 70 decibel 20th second 70 decibel 25th second 70 decibel so by this process you can indicate for which second the 70 decibel is occurring then you can calculate for how long or for what time duration the total time in duration uh, for 70 decibel similarly you can calculate the total time duration for 71 decibel similarly for each and every decibel greater or equal to 70 decibel value you can calculate now total gauging time is one hour that means 3600 second and including 70 decibel and also greater than the 70 decibel uh, say for example you have calculated that uh, uh, time duration exceeding 70 decibel value including this one is your uh, 500 second so percentage of time occurring greater equal to the stated value in our case your friend asked you about the 70 decibel greater or equal to 70 decibel so stated value is the 70 decibel value so percentage of time will be equal to 500 divided by 36007 why because the total gauging time is one hour that means 3600 seconds and more than uh, 70 decibel values are occurring for only 500 seconds say for example you have calculated that one for 500 seconds or it may be 600 seconds 700 seconds anything by taking the individual data i think it is clear now so let uh, let us have an example say for example uh, that uh, you are sampling a data that is you are measuring a noise generated from a source and the number of sample is here 15 you can say see the first column that is sampling number 1 to 15 spl value is sound pressure level value in decibel also in this uh, decibel in place of decibel you can also write decibel within bracket a that is a network weighted average okay so spl values are given that uh, for uh, the noise you have measured and also the noise variety was from 60 decibel to 74 decibel okay time of occurrence in second we are measuring the time in second for 10 seconds 60 decibel is occurring for 11 seconds 61 decibel is occurring for 12 seconds 62 decibel again for 63 decibel the number is higher 18 seconds again for 64 it is 14 like this way you have calculated that 60 decibel is occurring for 10 seconds say for example 64 decibel is occurring for 14 seconds 68 decibel is occurring for 18 seconds so by this uh, process you have taken the data and you also calculate the total uh, gauging time in this our uh, in our case you can directly calculate it will be equal to 245 second so total gauging time is 245 second uh, for which the sound pressure level was between 60 decibel to 74 decibel now to measure the statistical value or to produce the statistical value and also to plot a graph you have to uh, follow some process the process is similar to the uh, process you have done in case of uh, sieve analysis or grading curve for soil mechanics in that case we are passing some certain amount of soil through a set of sieves then whatever value of retained uh, soil in mass we are cal uh, we have to calculate then we have to calculate also the cumulative retain similarly here cumulative time of occurrence okay so cumulative time of occurrence how you can calculate say for example uh, your friend asked you that you are measuring the noise so tell me uh, the decibel uh, the time duration for which the sound pressure level exceeds the value of 74 including 74 so only one data greater than or equal to 74 is occurring for 21 second that will be 21 second similarly come to 73 so 
the SPL value, sound pressure level value, including 73 and greater than 73 is for 73 and 74. So 74 is occurring 20 for 21 seconds, 73 is occurring for 5 seconds. So for uh, if the stated value of sound pressure level is 73, then the percentage of time, so first of all, cumulative time of occurrence is uh, 5 plus 21, that is 26. Similarly, for 72, if the stated value of sound pressure level is 72, then including 72 and greater than 72 is 72, 73, 74. And time of occurrence is, occurrence is 22, 5 and 21. So the cumulative value is 48. In this manner, you can calculate all the cumulative values. And you can see that the lowest SPL value is having the total uh, number of gauging time because your uh, range of the noise, uh, sound pressure levels was from 60 to 74 if the lower limit is taken as the stated value that is the 60 decibel in our case is taken as the stated value so including 60 and greater than 60 decibel values uh, that is from 60 to 74 so ultimately if you take all the data of time of occurrence then ultimately total gauging time is coming as uh, equal to the cumulative time of occurrence uh, for uh, corresponding to 60 decibel so by this process you can calculate the cumulative time of occurrence similarly percentage of time exceeded the stated value it can be calculated by dividing each and every uh, cumulative value divided by the total uh, gauging time total gauging time is 245 seconds so for 74 come to the 15th number of uh, data that is 74 decibel time of occurrence was 21 cumulative value is also 21 percentage time is 21 divided by 245 whatever coming you just convert it i have converted into its uh, integer value okay you can take the fraction value anything is anything can be taken uh, again similarly 70 for 73 decibel total cumulative value is 26 and percentage time is 26 divided by 245 similarly the percentage time exceeded the stated value will increase from the upper limit data that is 74 decibel towards the lower limit data that is 60 decibel by this process you can calculate all the percentage time exceeded the stated value